Hey there, Kieran Satchel, Jurassic Coast Trust Ambassador and Freelance Science Communicator in Paleontology here. And today I'm doing a quick video about this awesome dinosaur, which is a personal favourite of mine. It is the Scalidosaurus. And the reason why I've been prompted to make this video is because I've finally obtained this beautiful replica of the Scalidosaurus skull. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you live in Dorset, you really should know, the Scalidosaurus is the charm of dinosaur. It is the most iconic dinosaur, which has, in fact, actually, I think, the only dinosaur that has been found at Charmer Beach and is uh, iconic as a result. The Scalidosaurus, um, as you can see here by this uh, model depiction, um, is a herbivorous dinosaur. It was covered in these bony plates here and had these uh, gnarly looking uh, horns here on the back. Um, now, this beautiful skull replica was made by Andrew Cox, who's a very famous paleo artist. He makes a lot of um, skull replicas for museums like uh, like uh, the Etches Collection at Kimmeridge, Goliath the Pliosaur model, that's his work as well. And I'm very grateful to be in possession of this beautiful Skullidosaurus skull replica. It's going to be perfect for the talks that I do. Um, it's just fantastic. The jaw is articulated as well. I've got it propped open, so I don't really want to move it. Um, but I will take this opportunity to actually have a quick talk about Scalidosaurus. The Scalidosaurus is one of my personal favourite dinosaurs from Britain. Um, I, I first kind of started learning about it when I became an ambassador for the Jurassic Coast. I didn't know much about it. But it's the fact that this dinosaur has been found like literally on our doorsteps. That just is so exciting to me. Um, because I, you know, you go all the guys out in America, they've got the T-Rex, they've got the Triceratops, but we've got the Scalidosaurus, and I, I don't know about you, but I think this, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm quite fortunate to actually have, if I just, uh, move the skull to one side here, um, I actually have in my collection a couple of little Scalidosaur vertebrae. Um, I was quite skeptical at first, because they do resemble, um, Plesiosaurus vertebrae quite a lot. But um, I have been informed that multiple renowned experts locally have identified these as Scalidosaurus. So I am very, very fortunate to have these in my collection. Um, they are very, very cool. Um, Scalidosaurus, as, as I'm sure you've already cottoned on to the fact that, you know, Scalidosaurus, the chances of finding a dinosaur in the ocean is... is very unlikely. All of the sediment and all the fossils that you would find along the Jurassic Coast, uh, Ch well, Charmer, Finline region specifically, are going to be coastal environments. That's where you find ammonites, bellamnites, ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, the lot. Anything you find there would have been living in the ocean. So the fact that we're finding bones from a dinosaur in the ocean is, is really unusual. There, there's been so many hypotheses, you know, maybe um, there, was a, there was a flash flood, washed these animals out to the ocean. Maybe they were commuting between different little archipelagos. Um, you know, it is, it is somewhat of a mystery, and I, I love that. That's part of why I love paleontology, is it's always a mystery. We never really will know. It's all educated guesses. So, yeah, um, basically just uh, doing a quick video just to kind of uh, talk about my awesome little uh, Scalidosaurus skull here, which um, you may have the uh, opportunity to see in person once I start doing uh, in-person talks again. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, check out my Facebook. I've got Instagram as well. I'm Paleo Kieran. And also I have my own website as well. Please do check out my website. It links you to all my YouTube and uh, other social medias as well. And uh, yeah, hit me up on Twitter as well. Cheers. Thanks for watching.